what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and today we're going to talk about the new gym fan 40 millimeter props these are the 1635-3s the three bladed props and the 1636-4 which are four bladed props and here's a closer look at them so pretty awesome looking props here gym fan usually makes some really nice props a lot of thought goes into them usually so I was definitely intrigued with trying these out. So I added these tri blades here to the trash can here. And the first thing I noticed is that these generate more thrust than the original props. As soon as I armed this thing with these new props on it, it tried to take off on me. It was just too much thrust being generated. Mind you, I did raise the idle speed of all of my brushless tiny whoops to 14.5. And so I definitely had to lower that idle speed with these props. And I haven't flown the trash can with these four bladed props because I added the Mobile S7 pits to this guy. And I don't know, something went wrong when I did it. And this thing will not arm now. I haven't figured it out yet. So I did install the four bladed props on this one. This is the Beta 75 Pro 2. And this one didn't take off at arm with the idle speed up to 14.5. And I figured that was the case because these beta FPV props are really light too. So these props are really light. And that's the reason why I think that these props generate more thrust because they are lighter to spin. Not by much, but it's definitely a considerable difference from going from this one to the stock props here from the trash can. So let's look at the weights. So the stock prop from the trash can weighs 0.9 grams, these props here. And so let's look at this one. 0.6 grams we're getting with this one. Let's check out this beta FPV prop here. 0.6 grams. So these props are the same weight just about let's see this one 0.6 grams and so that's why this one still acted the same with uh the stock props and these props on it as far as the digital idle speed on arm it didn't take off this one did take off because it had a lighter prop on it and it was generating more thrust and so i've come to the conclusion that these props <laughs> the stock props from the trash can are maybe a little too heavy the trash can itself is kind of heavy but a lot of people are saying that the frame from this guy is being used for the mobile s7 now and so wouldn't that make it the same weight well actually the motors on this one are a little bit larger so i don't know maybe the combination of the motors and having the led on the back and all just makes it a little heavier but this thing is super light. I believe this to be lighter than the Mobile S7 as well. But this one here, I've been flying with the four bladed props and it flies really nice with them. From my testing, I've seen that it oscillates a little when it's coming down and when I'm punching out, it vibrates a little. And so that leads me to believe that I need to lower the D term and the P term has to be lowered on uh, everything for that matter. And that also led me to believe that uh, that D term and the P term being a little too high definitely plays a role in this thing doing that violent pitch back because this didn't do it that much. And this guy here did it all the time, it seemed like. <laughs> and this one here now does it just as much as that one does with these gym fan props on it. So I guess it'll fly better once I tune it out and all. But these props are pretty light. They are pretty unique. They seem to generate a little more thrust than the stock props. And I guess they're just a really nice option. We'll see. I'll do some more testing on them though. Like they do flex a little. But they seem pretty stiff to be so light. And these are about the same stiffness as these here. But these have this funny shape to it. And... Some people have been reporting that there's rub on the trash can and mine don't rub. Fortunately, none of them, all of them spin freely without touching or anything. 
But I just can't get this thing to arm to test to do more testing on this. <laughs> and so I guess we'll see in the future with more videos. But I did do a video with this guy flying with these four bladed props here. And you'll see the violent pitch back that I get sometimes when I'm doing dives and all with this guy. And I think angle of the camera plays a role too. how you fly this thing, because when the angle is pitched a little higher on the camera, when you're diving, you're going to be more so like this. Whereas when you have a lower camera angle, you're going to be diving like this. And I think it creates more disturbance when you're diving this way and I think that causes more of the wobble. Not sure. We'll do some more testing, though, to find out definitely. But let's go check this guy out in flight with these new gym fan quad blades. Let's test this guy out. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> uh oh, pull out of range. <laughs> Too many hills and mountains around. <laughs> hills and dirt piles. See if we can get closer to get back around. Get it. Let's see all the way around. I'm a little closer. Uh oh. Weird. Know, what the heck happened? This thing is acting real weird. The battery's forward a little. Maybe that has something to do with it. Let me check it. that weird behavior was. Going from line of fight flying. Yeah. Something's up with it now. Sure, the battery's low. <laughs> 